see this is what i want to see right here i want to see warcraft 4 like that's the main thing is if they actually add warcraft 4 into the game or like a, a new game and they allow that to like just kind of carry the story forward and then do war of warcraft 2 that'd be the most badass shit dude i would fucking love that damage control for you to regret well, it's not really damage control or anything. Uh, the way that I look at it is like, yeah, I think Nixium brings up a lot of really good points. And I like Nixium a lot. And I actually agree with him with a lot of these points. But I feel like also if Sylvanas's uh, goal is to not die, then it doesn't really make a lot of sense for her to, um, uh, what do you call it? For her to go out of her way to start wars, right? And especially like the difference between like uh, Gilneas and Teldrassil is that Teldrassil was literally on the other side of the world right and Gilneas is right next door so it would make sense that that would be a, a more a, a more compelling issue right at least that's the way that I feel uh or has got Malfurion got ranked uh she wants everyone to die though well I, I think that's possible right warcraft. I mean it's possible specifically warcraft 3. see this is before we had the good camera here Warcraft 3? I actually still have my warcraft 3 copy uh, I still have it she's drawing lines to water on by starting to fight Pride? Uh, I mean, again, I just feel like whenever you, whenever you ascribe like different personality stuff and everything, show. I can't show it right now. Like, show you, it. Shut the fuck up. Show it. Uh, Do you know how hard it is for me to go through all my stuff? Let me see show this. Show it. Has Blizzard uh, abandoned the idea of Warcraft Four? This is something that I've wa like RTS right now is in the worst state that it's ever been in. All right, I think we can all agree on that. Most likely, you guys have played this thing. You played yeah. it. You played the Frozen Throne expansion. Goddamn you right. You fell in love with Arthas. You're He's sitting the there thinking, man, Blizzard, when's the next one coming out? When's yeah. Warcraft 4? And That's for a good all question. these years, we've been waiting. All these years, we've been just twiddling our thumbs. Where's that, Blizzard? Where's the Warcraft 4, Not Blizzard? Thumbs. Guys, has Blizzard abandoned the idea of Warcraft 4? That is mm -hmm. the question. A while back, I made a YouTube video and I was talking about Warcraft 4 and how I felt that Blizzard was setting the stage for a Warcraft 4 announcement through the lore and Legion. I felt like it could when have we happened. were talking about Illidan being a leader of the Army of the Light, I felt, okay, you know, they're going to do some sort of, you know, out there, outer space thing or some outer space attack on Azeroth again, something with the Void maybe Possible. or... You know, they're going to continue the storyline of the Burning Legion, maybe conclude the storyline of the Burning Legion. I didn't know. This was back before we got the I Am My Scars cinematic with Illidan being, you know, like, you know, touched by Anaru in a, in, 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 in a very dirty place. I made that discussion video. I felt that maybe Blizzard was setting the stage for a new Warcraft game, and I was wrong. And so since then, I've sat here and I've thought what to myself... That cat? Is Blizzard planning on doing a Warcraft 4? Some other people say we're never going to see a Warcraft 4. What are these it's just going to be from? World of Warcraft I hate forevermore. Cats. The storyline through the RTS games is over. It's all just going to be told through the MMO. But I like to remain optimistic. Because we don't really have any big Warcraft major be announcements that are coming out at BlizzCon this year, unless Blizzard throws us a curveball and hits us with a Diablo 4 or a StarCraft 3 or I think we're gonna get maybe Diablo even 4. a Warcraft 4. Maybe there's hope, but at this rate, another cat. what is Warcraft 4 even going to be about? I thought, if anything, Warcraft 4 would potentially be about a battle for Azeroth. A Here battle between too. the Horde and the Alliance. I envisioned in my mind these cutscenes in the game of King Varian versus Vol'jin or versus Thrall or something, maybe even Sylvanas. I thought about the armies of the Forsaken being a faction. Maybe, maybe the Forsaken <laughs> break free of the Horde for a little while in the events mm -hmm. of Warcraft 4, and they make their own faction, and the Horde is forced to fight against them, while at the same time fighting against the Alliance. And it, it kind of you know, harkens back to Warcraft 3. You've got the Scourge, you've got the humans, you've got the Orcs and the Trolls and the Torn and stuff. Maybe even the Night Elves, for some reason, break out and they themselves form like their own faction and so we get the night elf faction back and maybe so be like Warcraft maybe 3. there would be a new faction that would come along a new faction that would be completely unique to warcraft 4 that did not exist back in warcraft 3. who knows Ogres. it could be the tuscar faction oh. blizzard look at me if you take that idea make sure you give me credit 
it would be come a fantastic on. idea and you'd make a lot of money. The point is, oh, that's on. what I thought was going to potentially happen with Warcraft 4, but we're getting this new expansion called Battle for Azeroth, so that's kind of unlikely. But at the same time, guys, you know, I'm really excited for a Warcraft 4 and I'm really optimistic for it and I want to see it, but, you know, we talked about this earlier on my stream, but strategy games are kind of dead. I mean, when's the last big, crazy strategy yeah. game? Like, what was the last one that came out that you can think of? I'm sure there is one. I'm sure, like, something came out recently that I just haven't heard of. But the last strategy game that I heard of that came out was Halo Wars 2. Halo <laughs> Wars? Come on, man. Age of Empires 2 back in the day. Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds Command and Conquer. Oh, my God. Warcraft. Those are all Starcraft, the original Starcraft, games. Starcraft 2. Yeah. Warcraft 3. Great games, man. Great games. Warhammer wow. strategy games. It, but now it's like back in the day it just seems like rts games were coming out left and right you couldn't go two steps without falling over a strategy game and now those were the it's days like man the market has dried up and died which i think is a big unfortunate thing and it is maybe because that's people are stupid or now doing a warcraft 4 because they think no one's gonna play it they think ah oh, you know strategy games you are mean just, more it's stupid like a dead genre I've heard people Stupider. say that online we talked about it on stream and it's kind of true no. i don't know man i, I don't know but just Dumbass. speaking for myself here, I'd love a Warcraft 4. I'd love it to be able to yeah. control Sylvanas or Thrall or even Anduin, as weird as that is to say. You guys know me. But even Anduin, you know, controlling him and no. wandering around, nice updated graphics and stuff, very similar to Warcraft 3, hearkening back. How cool would it be to be wandering around as... I don't even know, like just some really powerful paladin and getting that devotion aura again and just giving that extra armor to your troops. I forgot all about that you know cinematic. I mean? You know what I mean? I really hope that game companies out there oh, don't think that there's not that a order demand on? for don't strategy worry. games because there's a lot of people out there, me, my friends, my community on Twitch, you guys maybe, who are like, man, I can't wait for the next big strategy game to come out. Yeah. I can't wait for Age of Empires 4 to come out. I'm really excited for Age of Empires 4. It'll be fucking I really amazing. Hope it's not going to suck. I would love to see a StarCraft 3. I would love to see a Warcraft 4. Yes. It's something I really want to see, you know? Fuck I StarCraft. See some new life in the strategy Who game cares about StarCraft? Genre. So, Blizzard, if you're watching this I video, love StarCraft. Maybe you're no, thinking you don't. to yourselves, man, we'd like to make Warcraft 4, but it's kind of complicated and integrating its storyline into the World of Warcraft storyline would be kind of weird because the events of Warcraft 4 obviously wouldn't happen in World of Warcraft, so we'd have to do like a time skip in World of Warcraft. Like, let's say Warcraft 4 came out after BFA and in Warcraft 4, let's say Thrall so I thought dies, that do. for example. So in the oh. expansion after BFA, Thrall is suddenly dead and the people that didn't play Warcraft 4 wouldn't know that and they'd be like, hey, Wes, why is Thrall dead? And people would say, oh, well, he died in Warcraft 4 and they'd be like, what the heck, man? And why is Stormwind burned to the ground? And why is Orgrimmar flying in the air now? And, you know, why has the Undercity been turned into a spaceship? Oh, dude, it's just Warcraft 4, what man. It fuck? all happened in Warcraft 4. I know that there's going to be some complications with the story. I understand that. I know that you're going to create some confusion in the player base. I understand that. But, Blizzard, I, I think it would be worth it. Hell, I think it would even be worth it to create a Warcraft 4 that takes place in a previous expansion. I mean, hell, for example, I would love it that could if be we cool. saw a Warcraft 4 that took place Wrath and was Lich based King. in the Wrath of the Lich King expansion. Great a idea. A Warcraft game that is literally sort of a direct sequel to Warcraft 3. The Horde shows up yeah. on the shores of Northrend. They fight against Arthas. We see some really cool, heavy CGI cinematics of armies yeah. fighting against the Lich King and the Scourge, hearkening back to Warcraft 3. That yeah, would be dude. amazing. You get to play as Garrosh Hellscream leading the Korkron elite, you know, in Boring and Tundra and conquering the zone. That would be so zone. big, man. You get to play as the Alliance Bolvar Four Dragon, and you get to lead the forces of the Alliance, the Dwarves, the Humans, the Gnomes, all these guys. You're leading them through the Dragon Blight, conquering Naxxramas, whatever. That would be cool. Blizzard, if you're worried about story, maybe set Warcraft 4 in a previous expansion of WoW and flesh out the lore of that expansion. And Wrath of the Lich King, I feel, would be the best one to do it in. But Blizzard, if you're not going to do that, if that's not your intention, if you want to do something completely separate, new lore, new characters, whatever, 
don't worry about story inconsistency or whatever. There is a demand. Oh, they don't do yes, that anyway. some confusion, but I think people are going to love it in the end. So, guys, that's really it. I'm that sorry be awesome. if it sounds like I'm kind of rambling a little bit, but there's just so many things that go through my head when it comes to Warcraft 4. I'd love to sit down and just talk about potential Warcraft 4 campaigns with you guys. I'd love to talk about potential races, more serious races, but but the Tuskar is a good idea. I mean, you know, come on. Aww. You know, it would be great to sit down and talk with you guys. There's so many things going on in my head, but I got just, I'm trying to keep this video short and simple and to the point, kind of. What do you guys think? Do you guys think Warcraft 4 would be a success? Would you be interested in playing it? Yes. For those of you that have never played Warcraft 3, if Blizzard released a Warcraft strategy game right now, Warcraft 4, you've never played Warcraft 3, none of the previous games, would you be interested in yes. playing a Warcraft strategy game? Essentially, what I'm asking, yes. do you think there is a demand for Warcraft 4? And I don't mean just oh, yeah. kind of a demand, because you know people want it, but do you think people really, really want it? Guys, thank you for watching the video. Thank you for listening to my I ramblings for a few minutes here. Thank you to That's the a Patreon good question. supporters I don't know. for always supporting me and having my back. I love you guys. Thank you to those of you who watch me on Twitch where we discuss this sort of stuff every week. Thank you to you guys who just watch me on YouTube. I hope you guys enjoyed my most What about thank Machinima, you to you guys who watch me through Asmongold's stream Forest. because you ran out of Go content? Go check it out if you haven't seen it. What about it. us? Hopefully you'll enjoy it. Thanks for always having my back. What the hell? And I'll see you guys on my next video. Wow. Wait, shouldn't you be thanking him? Well, I mean, it's, it's a... It, it, you know, like the thing where like one dude takes the other dude's hand and he jerks himself off, while the other dude takes the other guy's what? hand and he jerks himself off, right? No, that's kind of like how it is whenever you're you're watching somebody's video on on YouTube. You know what I mean? Uh, and I think that's the that's the way that I see it. Okay, I'm not saying that's the way it works. I'm just saying that's the way that I see it.